Welcome back to another Islamic Ministries and Community Development Daily Hadith Reminder. Today we are with the Hadith of another great companion by the name of Uthman ibn Affan. Uthman ibn Affan reported that the Prophet said, The best of you are those who learn the Quran and teach it to others. Uthman ibn Affan was a beloved friend and companion of the Prophet Muhammad. He was the third rightly guided caliph and was known as the leader of the faithful who rules the Muslims for approximately twelve years. The first six years of his caliphate were times of relative tranquility, development and peace. However, the last years of his caliphate were marred by internal conflict and pockets of rebels trying to cause havoc throughout the caliphate. Uthman is remembered as a pious, gentle and kind man, well known for his modesty and admired for his generosity. He was someone who even the angels were shy from. He ruled the Muslims with impartial justice mild and humane policies based upon his obedience to Allah and his love of the Prophet Muhammad and the Muslim nation. Uthman was born seven years after Prophet Muhammad and he was from the Umayyad branch of the Quraysh tribe. The Umayyads were the most influential family of tribe of Quraysh. They were the strongest and wealthiest. Uthman was known as their golden child. Like his predecessor Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman was able to read and write. During his time, the Quran was compiled and gathered in book form for the second time. This was an unusual skill in pre-Islamic Arabia, and Uthman became a successful businessman and clothing merchant. It was his close friend Abu Bakr as-Siddiq who introduced Uthman to Islam, and he embraced Islam at the age of 34. This was during the very early days of Islam, when the polytheists of Makkah were systematically abusing and torturing any new converts to Islam. Uthman ibn Affan was assassinated in 35 Hijri by some of the rebels who were trying to overthrow his leadership as the rightly guided caliph. What are some benefits from this hadith? The best of us are those who memorize and learn. In order to be the best you must seek knowledge, then act upon it, then teach it to others. The most important branch of knowledge in Islam is that related to the Quran and its sciences. We shouldn't conceal good knowledge if we have it and know how to teach it to others. The best of Muslims are those who busy themselves with the best of books, from the best of prophets, from the best of angels, Jibreel, from the great creator of the heavens and the earth. Questions, how can we be the best? What should we do to learn more Quran? What are some ways of teaching the Quran? Are you enjoying these daily hadith reminders? If so, please visit us online at www.msed.org or check out our YouTube page www.youtube.com o Darfaruk Post.